Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of 815 Live. It's Thursday at 6, so we get to show you some amazing local artists. We have seven performers on stage. But before we get to the group of the week, we want to give a huge thank you to our sponsor of this wonderful series, the Mary E. Stevens Concert and Lecture Fund. Every group you're seeing performed here is receiving a stipend. So this one is going to a four-year university that's just down the road from us. Little teaser there. But we have been really excited to be coming to you every Thursday at 6 featuring these local artists. This is round two of 815 Live. So th I hope you guys are enjoying it. We're enjoying it and the artists are enjoying it. But obviously COVID has been quite the impact for the entertainment industry, not only venues such as the Egyptian theater, but all of these artists who don't have stages to perform on. So we ask for your help. You can keep live music, local music alive, thriving, get us through COVID, get venues through COVID by donating tonight. We have two easy ways for you to donate. You can text 815LIVE to 44. 321 and that'll take you right to our donation page or you can go to 815live.org and that'll also take you right to your donation page and we do accept paypal credit card all those fun things so if you're lazy like i am and literally don't want to walk uh 10 feet to get your purse we've got you covered so this week's artists i hope you guys like jazz because we've had this group we've actually had the larger group here if you've ever been to our show Jazz at the Egyptian with the NIU Jazz Ensemble. This time we have the NIU Jazz Tet, seven very talented musicians. We've already enjoyed listening to their sound check. We hope you enjoy their set as much as we enjoyed just their warm up. So without further ado, let's get to the NIU Jazz Tet. Thank you. 
Thank you. Greater DeKalb and the world, if you are tuning in to this lovely venue that we are at, that I was informed there are only seven of, the, of these Egyptian theaters left in the world. And I'm currently seeing some bats fly around in here, which is, there might be a bat, so that was incredible. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to speak for seven people here, and if they give me the evil eye, then I'm, I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll retract my statement. But I think I can speak for all of us and say that we're uh, very delighted to be here, getting a chance to share music with um, our digital audience and um, the, the great staff here at The Egyptian. Um, just want to give a few thank yous to uh, all of our professors at NIU for, for mentoring us and being such great educators. And I also just want to thank, personally for me, everybody in this group for being such great people and musicians. And I'm going to take a second to introduce the septet. Okay. So in the rhythm section, we're going to start with the back row here. Um, all the way on the piano, we have Mr. Tyler Lustick. On, yeah, give it up. On the guitar, we have Mr. Edgar De La Torre. Yeah. With the broken foot, man. Winter is no joke. And on the upright bass, Mr. Ben Walk. Give it up. And in the front line, saxophones. We have it. To my immediate right is Mr. Addison Jordan on the soprano sax. In the middle, on the tenor saxophone, is Mr. Armand Sangalang, who actually arranged the last tune we did. So I'll just, just put it out there. And on the alto saxophone, Mr. Michael Opitz. So that first tune we played was Hindsight. Uh, by the great Cedar Walton, great pianist, and it was arranged by Armin Sanglang, like I said, and we're going to continue with a great arrangement by our piano player, Mr. Tyler Lustig, uh, by the genius of modern music, Mr. Thelonious Monk, and it is called Let's Cool One. Thank you. 
thank you to those clapping at home. <laughs> that was Let's Cool One, arranged by our great pianist, Tyler Lustig, written by the incomparable Thelonious Monk. And we're now going to proceed to play a lovely suite of music written by Tyler, if I can open my music. Um, the first tune of this suite is called The Problem We All Live With. It's going to be fo followed by the second movement called Survival of the Spirit. Now, Tyler, if you would like if, to talk about your piece, you're more than welcome to. I, ooh, I uh, started writing this suite um, direct in the weeks uh, directly following the uh, George Floyd protests, uh, starting back in June of 2020. These two pieces essentially follow my thought processes, uh, seeing all the um, all the historic news playing out on the TV screen as I uh, as as everything was as everything was playing out. Um, so you'll hear in the very first movement a lot of um, really crunchy chords and some like bitonality um, that really represented just a lot of the uh, like gut wrenching scenes that um, that were seen um, that that were seen in those uh, protests. And then the second movement, um, the survival of the spirit, to me represents um, our collective continuing uh, struggle through this uh, coronavirus pandemic that we are all experiencing. Um, rep it represents our, just our will to keep persevering and pushing forward. All right, I hope you enjoy the problem we all live with and survival of the spirit.
Thank you.
Thank you, Egyptian Theater, Greater DeKalb, and the world, or our parents if they are tuning in, our biggest fans. <laughs> yeah. So we are, um, we're going to play um, our last tune of the evening. And it is, it is a great one. I'll, the last tune we played was Oriental Folk Song by the great Wayne Shorter, arranged by our piano player, Tyler Lustig. And um, yeah, the last tune of the evening that we are gonna do is the great Herbie Hancock composition, And What If I Don't? So um, on behalf of the Jazz Tet, um, I will say that we've had a, a great, great time here, getting a chance to make some music, take some risks, share joy and love with you all via zeros and ones, or <laughs> Wi-Fi, Ethernet, <laughs> dial up if you still have it. I drove past a bunch of farms out here. I don't know what, what's going on out here in terms of internet speed or connection, but I hope, um, I hope whatever they have or I hope whatever you have, um, you were able to connect with us on a deep level. So once again, I'm gonna introduce the septet. So if you see them out and about, say hi. Show them how much you appreciate the music and how much you appreciate live music when it comes back. But in the back row, the rhythm section, Mr. Tyler Lustig on the piano. On guitar, we have Edgar De La Torre. On bass, we have Ben Guac. I'm Devin Dropka on the drums. In the front row, we have Michael Opitz on the alto sax. We have Armin Sangling on the tenor sax, and Mr. Addison Jordan on the soprano sax. And thanks once again to the Egyptian Theater, the wonderful staff here for hooking us up with beautiful sound and uh, a pretty amazing venue to have nobody in. Uh, <laughs> But it's, it's, what a great opportunity to do this. So um, thank you guys, and thanks to NIU, all of our great professors. And um, yeah, we hope to see you again soon.
All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I feel like I should be atop La Luna having a glass of wine, and it is National Drink Wine Day, so I may have to partake. I hope you guys enjoyed the NIU Jazz Tet as much as we did. We're glad they could travel just down the road, and for once, not a snowy Thursday. So, again, if you want to help keep local musicians and local venues like ours, a 501c3 nonprofit, alive and thriving on the other side of COVID, we need your help today. Donate right now by texting 815LIVE to 44321 or go right to 815LIVE.org and that'll take you right to our donation page. Again, a huge thank you to the Mary E. Stevens Concert and Lecture Fund. That donation is going right to the NIU Jazz Studies Program, so huge thank you. We want to keep these local artists going through this tough time. We all know that, as they said, they composed a musical piece, I've Just Drank Wine and Ate Food, so he gives, he takes. Well, we'll see you next week at Thursday at 6 for the final 815 Live of this round, but hopefully we'll be back and hopefully we'll see you in person sooner rather than later. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you next Thursday at 6.